Like if you were to call me up and be like, Kathleen, I've got a really, really juicy dick joke for Ugh. you. I would appreciate it coming from you. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm failing you as a friend in that regard. That's I okay. seldom call you up with a dick joke. La, la, la. Now I want a pina colada. An acquired taste. Kathleen, there are many different world mysteries <laughs> and <laughs> truths about the human condition. And I think that you can agree yeah. that one of the largest ones <laughs> is why do people, specifically dudes, draw dicks yeah. on everything? <laughs> When's the last Bethany. time you saw a graffiti dick, Kathleen? Um, I'm, I have to tell you, because I do enjoy some good potty humor. Yeah. I love, love a good dick written on a car right after it snows. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good snow dick. I love a snow dick. Yeah. Have you seen American Vandal? <laughs> I haven't. No, you sh you need to watch it. I, I okay. think I told you about it, but we've talked about it before. It's the sort of it's making fun of true crime documentaries, and it's trying to figure out if this kid who got accused of drawing dicks everywhere is actually the kid who drew dicks everywhere. <laughs> and the guy, the guy who plays the guy being accused of drawing the dicks, is so good and so funny. And we all went to high school with a guy like him who just sort of like <laughs> talks like this. Yes. Why do men? Why are they predisposo pre um, what's the word? Predisposo disposed? Yeah. Dispo <laughs> Predisposed. Dick pizzos. <laughs> dick possessed. Um. Why do guys like? Why do they want to draw their genitalia everywhere? Women don't want to draw vajays. That's the question. That's okay. what we're going to to discuss today. I'm excited. So let's talk about old dicks. Okay. Uh, in 2010, an archaeologist working on the Greek island Astipalia yeah. discovered large dicks carved into the rocky peninsula, as well as an inscription that translates to Nikasitimos was here mounting Timiona. Now, Nikasitimos and Tim Timimonia. Timi Timiona, both male names. These carvings were dated to the 5th and 6th centuries B.C., B.C. dicks. B.C. dicks. And by the like way, it. the archaeologists referred to them as triumphant inscriptions. Okay, so you know how humans have gotten larger over time? Have I guess. Sure, yeah. Better food, access to food. I mean, do you think it's co a correlation? Dicks probably. have gotten larger over time. I think it's yeah. probably proportionate yeah. to like how <laughs> the individual has grown. <laughs> In the same area, by the way, he yeah. uh, also found more carvings like lower down on the cape. Um carvings into limestone that named Dion and then had two penises. And the archaeologist said, quote, that would allude to similar behavior on the part of Dion. So all of these dudes are, are fucking and drawing penises in this part of Greece. Well, you know, it, it, the Greeks and the Romans and that whole area, and I'm totally going to, I shouldn't even say this word. I'm going to mess this up. My time period is probably wrong. Mesopotamia? Yeah, Mesopotamia. Uh, they were just obsessed with their genitalia. They loved fucking, they loved big orgies. Sure, and who so, doesn't? Like, maybe this is where it all stems from. You know how last episode you taught us that it's ingrained in us uh, to jolt awake sometimes when we're sleeping because our uh, our ancestors would jolt awake so they didn't fall out of a tree? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So maybe uh, guys who are obsessed with their genitalia, like, they just can't help it. They can't, well, we're going to dig into that. OK, let's dig. In 2019, archaeologists from Newcastle University and Historic England uncovered sections of graffiti carved by Roman soldiers in the year 207. <gasps> That's a long time a ago. A long time ago. It was in a quarry near a section of Hadrian's Wall in Cumbria, England. OK. So at that time, apparently, dicks were a symbol of good luck, which is a <laughs> whole other thing we can unpack at another time. But... <laughs> they had found these dick inscriptions, not just here, but like on other parts of the wall, too. Meaning that dick wall, inscriptions, dick inscriptions everywhere. Dicks were found everywhere, meaning that like yeah. while these workers were supposed to be reinforcing this wall, some of them yeah. got so bored that they pulled out their chisels and straight up carved three dimensional dicks into solid rock because oh. these weren't just like scratched outlines. These were like yeah. they had shading and they yeah. had roundness and girth. Gotcha. Um, and by the way, because erosion is such a problem, archaeologists plan to use laser scanning to record all of the details of these walls. So now there will be 3D renderings of these dick inscriptions or dickscriptions for yes. future generations to uh, appreciate. 
Let's talk about new dicks. Oh, okay. So the movie Superbad obviously ushered in a new awareness of the dick drawing. Did it? Yeah, there's a whole, what's his name, was like obsessed with drawing dicks and like had found an art form in dick drawing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that, yeah. In 2017, a naval officer drew a dick while skywriting. <gasps> uh, the Navy had to apologize for that because what are you supposed to be doing? Not drawing dicks while skywriting. Um, there's an Instagram account called Dick Latte, which shows pictures of dicks drawn into the crema of lattes. Love that. I follow Dick Latte. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And the girls in my book club, whenever I take screenshots from that account and send it to them, nobody's quite as enthused as I am. And yeah. I'm like, hello, this is funny. I think it's the wrong it's, audience. Uh, it's a, it's the wrong a little audience. dick in a latte wearing a Santa hat. It's funny. <laughs> They're artists. They're like sandwich artists, but... <laughs> They're for crema. There's a website called Send Your Friend a Penis Drawing. And yeah. under the FAQ section, a question asks, is this a good present for a girl? And true to people who would draw dicks, the response is, excellent. It certainly is. Girls always like to know they're special. And this is something very special. Your friend, mother, grandmother, or special lady in your life is sure to be impressed with your thoughtfulness and providing her with a splendid gift. Very special. The very company spash. Penist will turn your enemy's logo into a dick. Your enemy's logo? Right, which is sort of strange because let's say you have a company where you help people resell old things yeah. and you want to take eBay, a competitor, you want to take their logo and turn it into a dick. This company will help you do that. However, this is very interesting <laughs> yeah. because it sort of in intimates that the penis is an insult, does it not? It's one of those words. You know, dick, the symbol of a dick is sort of also like the word fuck, where you're like, fuck, <laughs> where you're mad about something, but something good happens, you're like, fuck, yeah. Gotcha. Like, it can mean anything. Okay. And I think that the symbol of the dick is sort of the same way, but I don't get why you would want to turn your uh, enemy's logo. Mm -hmm. um, and this is strictly, I guess, like a business enemy because yeah, your best friend so. doesn't have a logo. Yeah, it's not like, like you're your best... insulting another Scottish clan, you know, <laughs> no. who has like a coat of arms or something. Let's talk about video games. Okay. Players have carved, etched, and built dicks into video games like Curiosity, SimCity, Minecraft, which is 45 blocks long, 27 blocks high, 13 blocks wide if you want to make a Minecraft dick. Call of Duty, Little Big Planet, Trials Evolution, Mod Nation Racers, Halo Reach, Gary's Mod, which features a penis car you can race in, plus a penis bike in Grand Theft Auto 4. A YouTuber named Daku Neko, whose Skype profile says he lives in Fuckville, replaced Sonic, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog with a big peach penis and when reached for comment as to why he did this he simply replied because i'm batshit insane which indicates an inability or lack of desire to dig into the deeper recesses of his psyche and motivations it, it's, it's you know and it's also disney uh illustrators yes. putting dicks on the cover of like the little mermaid yes piece. yeah yep dicks Wh dicks dicks the video what? It's, why is this it's fascinating i'm almost we're gonna we're and it makes total sense it makes total sense but i could literally talk about this forever i'm dick fascinating symbolism. that you think because i find <sighs> drawings of dicks just annoying and i think it reflects poorly on the person who drew it and you like it what do you what if like a dude if you had a crush on a dude and he drew a dick on your locker would you think <laughs> okay. highly of him that's different. That's different. But if I liked a dude that was like trying to get my attention in class uh -huh. and he drew a little note with a little dick in it and it's like, my dick loves you. <laughs> that would work for you? But then it's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> That's wow. OK. I, I mean, OK. You know what? We all have our own thing, Kathleen, and that is your thing. And I respect it. It's not my thing. It's not my dog. I'm not going to get a cookie jar in the shape of a dick and start like wallpapering my kitchen with dick accoutrements, okay? One more thing about video games. Uh, the late game designer Jeff Freeman coined a phrase that measured how long it takes players to use player created content tools to create a penis. The phrase is, quote, time to cock, and it is measured in microseconds. <gasps> that is how quickly. People in a new game figure out how to make a penis in the game. Have, have you ever seen that girl that, that runs? And it's an Instagram account. And everywhere she runs, she runs in the shape of a dick. What? <laughs> what do you do on Instagram? What is your algorithm? Mine is cats. 
This is why I have a Finsta <laughs> because all of this disgusting, totally childish shit that I follow, I cannot follow it on my real Instagram because I don't I don't want to like be in a board meeting and be like, oh, let me show you an example of things that I that I've seen on Instagram and then like, you know, run the dick pops <laughs> for dick latte. You are really one of the most layered and nuanced people <laughs> I know because you do co- like you do present as like this a proper lady, a proper lady. You dress yeah. beautifully. You're pulled together. You. Your makeup was always snatched. And then and then you're just like and also dicks. Dicks and poops and farts and dicks and poops and farts. and I went on Reddit, which is not like a big bastion of self-reflection, but someone asked a question four years ago. Guys that draw dicks on stuff, why do you do it? And mm-hmm. the answer that was archived as best was simply because them dicks ain't going to draw themselves, bro. <laughs> um, God, I love Reddit. Reddit uh, is what a j- <laughs> <laughs> um, but a bunch of other users um, said, because we were young and confused with no outlet to express our youthful rage. So dicks. Mm, um, dicks. Because it's funny. It's the simplest obscene thing. Someone said, look, it's either we draw the dick or we piss on it. It's about territory. <laughs> and I don't want my territory to smell like a urinal. That's why oh, I draw a dick. Interesting. And going into the actual psychology of it, there appears to be healthy reasons to draw dicks and less healthy reasons to draw dicks. Healthy reasons to draw dicks? Okay. Okay. Why would, let's say, a boy draw a dick, like a younger boy? What would a healthy reason to draw a dick be? Well, he thinks it's funny. Yeah. And then maybe because he's uh, uh, going through that age where sexuality is something that he's thinking about. There you go. Yes. So some psychologists think that it's about curiosity. It's about figuring out how this thing attached to you that you can see is important because it's it's on your body and it's like out there. Mm-hmm. You draw it because you're getting used to it. You're learning about it. And a designer named Michael Yardley said in a Vice.com article that boys might draw dicks when they're young to get a grasp on their changing bodies. He said, you draw dicks from experience. And really mm-hmm. the only experience you have is your own penis. So if you draw yeah. your own penis and someone is like, ew, why is it shaped like that? You know there's something wrong with your own penis and you go to a doctor. Like it helps you figure out what's normal and what's not. Oh. Yeah. It's a little bit like, okay. you know, when I was young, I would draw people having sex, but I didn't know what sex was. And so I just drew a penis proboscis going towards a woman's abdomen. And I knew that was about right, but I didn't quite know. <laughs> You know, whatever. <laughs> I wonder how many creatures out there have penis pro- proboscises. I know that monkeys have penis bones. What? So here's some other thoughts. Okay. Drawing penises is like you flexing your power. So mm-hmm. a psychoanalyst named Vanessa Sinclair said, the people who are drawing penises over and over again are trying to assert that they have power, that they have a penis and they do not lack, that they're not vulnerable. She said, it's the same classic Mm. example of older men who buy a sports car or motorcycle when their physical health and strength begin to decline. Oh, Mm -hmm. and also when you see someone uh, pass out at a party with a dick on on their face, it's because that person is vulnerable and the person who drew the dick on their face is not vulnerable. Yes, Kathleen, exactly. It's a show of power. I've, I've, I deserve a degree after this. <laughs> your, your insights are, are pretty on. An article for Kotaku.com, there is a biopsychologist named Nigel Barber. Yeah. And Nigel said, in most societies, male genitals are covered. So even if people wear no other clothes, mm. often the genitals are covered. And so the implication yeah. there is that genital display is potentially rude or offensive. And so drawing a penis on something is your way to be dangerous, is your way to break a rule because society deems penises to be something you want to cover up. Provocative. It's your way to be provocative in a a time where maybe you feel powerless. Like when you're a teenager, you don't have a lot of your own power. Your parents are in charge. Your teachers are in charge. Mm -hmm. But you can draw a dick on a wall or you can draw a dick on your table. And that's your way of like lashing out and showing that you do have some power. I mean, when you really think about it, what's the point of a loincloth anyway? I mean, it doesn't, yeah. doesn't support. It doesn't, doesn't support. Mm-hmm. Doesn't cover really anything up. Yep. Other, I mean, it's it, 
there's still a lot of flapping in the wind going on (laughs) and it's not really secured to the body other than by Mm. just like a little garter belt. Yeah, it's true. There's not a lot going on there. A a woman named Melanie Hamlet wrote an article for Glamour.com pretty quickly after the Navy drawing dicks in the air thing happened. Mm. Yeah. And she pointed out kind of what you were saying, Kathleen, that if drawing penises was just about sex, Mm. Then you'd also see boobs and butts and vaginas all over the place, Mm. but you don't. Yeah. So she posits that drawing penises is about dominance and maybe even Mm. neediness. Mm. She says these are entitled, she calls them boy men, entitled boy men trying to force women to acknowledge their all important penises, whether we care to or not. Yeah. She said, now, before you go assuming I'm a prude, I assure you I'm not far from it. I adore a good penis. She goes on, though, but I've been assaulted by my fair share of them, too, which, like Mm. a lot of other women, makes my relationship to them complicated because Mm. I've been forced to look at one too many against my will, whether it be on a subway platform, on a bus, on a park bench, she said. And then she goes into different ways she's been assaulted, literally. Mm. Um, She said, I've had countless boners shoved into my back while I'm trying to dance and more. So she said, I'm realizing now that even a stupid penis drawing is male anatomy being forced into my world. So it is aggressive. And it seems like even if you are someone who doesn't realize why you're drawing dicks everywhere, it's your way, I think, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. of trying to assert your dominance and trying to show that you're powerful when maybe you don't feel quite so powerful in the world. So I'm going to end it with this amazing post. I think it was on Tumblr. I found it on Reddit. The original post is from Tony Stark 24, and it's a picture. um, I'm guessing it's from it's a high school student, and it's a picture from the back of the classroom of a teacher holding up a plastic chair, which has a dick drawn on it. And you can see she's mid lecture. And here is what the caption is under the picture. My AP psych teacher from high school keeps binders and notebooks with dicks drawn on them to use as visual aids for the Freudian unit. One time she did this life-changing little experiment where she ever so calmly asked guys why they draw penises on things. They tried to say, it's just funny or you don't understand. And she just kept saying, you're right, I don't understand. Explain it to me. You already know what a penis looks like. Why do you have to draw it on things? Are you marking it? Are you tagging it? Girls don't draw vaginas on things. And the guys suddenly started questioning their motives for everything they do. And one guy was like, Miss, stop talking about penises. You're making me uncomfortable. And she shouted, how do you think we feel seeing dicks drawn on stuff all the time? Stop laughing. This is erotic. I'm on a new medication and I think it's making me hallucinate. I would have been a Ted Bundy victim. Yeah. I had no idea that so many people out there felt the same way I did. 